Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one was really beaten up and broken. We have tried to repair some, they dropped it off the stairs. We have like a really nice damage in here. And we have repaired it and I saw in one of my comments you guys asked for requests in how to upgrade the RAM on this model. This one is an HP Pavilion DM4. So, and in this video, I'm going to take you step by step on how to replace your or how to upgrade your RAM for these models. And again, the model can be found on the bottom here. It says HP Pavilion DM4, or the exact model should say it says model DM4 1380. And it doesn't matter after the dash what it says, but the RAM for all the DM4 series is the same. So pretty much I'm going to take you step by step how to do it. First thing first, the tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit tool set, the screwdriver set. These are really good beds that they have. They are S2 class steels. They will last you a really long time comparing to a cheap brands or any other brand. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero and a Phillips double uh, zero. From the here. Also, is an optional to have a uh, what do you call a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick if you can. So, but if you don't have a fingernails to open up the covers, this is really handy to have. All right. First thing first, you want to power up the laptop. Then you want to remove the battery. To remove the battery, obviously, just pull and slide this trigger to the left side, and you want to see the battery just lifting up. Just simply go ahead and. Rotate the battery towards the back. Now, the service covers is this one and this one. In order to remove this service covers, you have to unscrew a few screws here. The RAMs are located under this first cover, which is, it says right here, RAM, Wi-Fi, and hard drive. But the hard drive and CD-ROM, the CD-ROM screw is here, the hard drive is right over here. All right, to remove the screws, the, uh, the bottom of the battery, in this side, you're gonna see two black screws, one right here, and one right here. This one was uh, lost, so I replaced it with a chrome screw. Pretty much you have to unscrew these two. They have a C lock on them, so the screws won't come actually out completely, except the one that I replaced, which was really lost. So go ahead and remove the screws. Once you loosen up the screws, all you need to do is slide the cover towards the. Let me remove this one, but mine doesn't have a C lock on it. It's slide it towards the battery and you're gonna see a gap opening right here. Once you see this gap, just go ahead and lift up the cover. Once you lift up the cover, you're gonna see the RAMs right over here. To remove the RAMs, all you need to do is to grab these two triggers, which are right over here and here. You want to pull them apart like this, but you can do it with your finger, both of them together, and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. And you want to grab it in the same 45 degree angle and slide it out in the same 45 degree angle. Don't yank it upward, otherwise you're going to break the RAM beam or the RAM. This is the first RAM. The second RAM, again, put your fingernails right at the bottom. Squeeze these triggers apart. And then you need to help it a little bit. And then there you go. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Again, grab it wherever you can. And wiggle it around, it slides it towards the same direction that it came out. And there we go. This is a 4 gig RAM, and this one is a 2 gig RAM DDR3 RAMs. You can put out 4 gig and 4 gig, and that's gonna be fine. So let's say you got the new RAM in. If your RAM falls down there, there's not much room to play around here, but what you need to do, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the RAM dim down there so you don't put it the other way around otherwise it's not gonna go through so grab the RAM bring it down in 45 degree angle right over there and slide it all the way to the RAM dims in 45 degree angle once the RAM dims are all the way in and simply from the middle push it towards the motherboard and you should hear two triggers clicking just like that. Grab the other one, bring it over, slide it in, 
and towards the motherboard and pretty much you're done now next thing is to grab the cover put it in an offset position and then slide it all the way to the back side the last thing would be to just grab the screws and put them in place and i hope you guys like these videos and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade if you have any question or request feel free to ask them in the video comment and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and again thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video